Okay, we have a Windows 7 64-bit system here with two RAID arrays on the Adaptec 2405Q RAID controller with a 96 gig SSD Kingston installed that's being used for what Adaptec calls max cache, read cache. Um, doing re benchmarking with cache is tricky, but basically I've run all four of these tools and I don't see a difference between first and second run. So caching isn't really going to have a great effect unless we're copying a file or starting Windows and starting it again or starting a large app, excuse me, and then starting a second time. Um, let's start with that actually. Let's take a look here. Uh, let's get the second hand on the clock going. Sorry. Okay, then I'm used to a third-party clock. At 8.40 and 30 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start this Adaptic app. All right, well, that was awfully quick. A little hard to uh, benchmark that. Let's go ahead and try it again. See if it looks any quicker the second time for caching effects. So, hard to tell with an app that starts that quickly. Um, let's get a little more scientific and do some benchmarking. Okay, so when you look at this RAID controller, ah, this is how it looks. See a whole bunch of drives. You see a solid state drive. There's the Kingston, knows all about the hardware. gigabits and so forth. Max cache capable and assigned false. Well, that's interesting because when I look over here, All right, so it appears the cache is not enabled when you do two RAID arrays like this. Or the second one wins and got the cache. So let's take a look at that theory. Max cache setting disabled. Okay, well, caching effects aside, uh, we know it's really for reads and it's for subsequent runs, but I really just want to compare um, a RAID 0 to a RAID 1E for a performance perspective right now. These volumes are more than big enough to handle um, these small benchmarking utilities. And I've run them in the past on different RAID arrays. So they don't seem to, on this controller, and it doesn't seem to make a difference when you run it the first time versus the second time. So let's move forward with two basic tests. Remember, 10 drives are involved. So all 10 spindles are being hit with IOs. Whether we're talking about a RAID 0 or RAID 1, we've carved up those two different volumes. Um, but all, at all points in time, whether you're using the RAID 0 or RAID 1E, all the lights are flickering in all 10 drives. So let's go and do that. Here's the utility I've been using for some years. Let's uh, just remind ourselves what we got here. So there's our drive lighters. So let's do the first run on E, and the second one on F, sub one F. I'm um, sorry. Um, yeah, RAID 0. All right, so that's our test. Let it run. A little boring to watch. I'm going to resume the video when it's... Uh, a little further here, but the, the first ones you'll get really, really quite low speeds. So it's writing really tiny files. As the files get bigger, it gets uh, much, much better. Um, I really should leave the machine alone while it's running, but I can't resist the temptation to just take a quick look at how the CPU looks. So you'll see, um, turn on kernel times, you'll see not a whole lot going on. There's a spike when I start task manager. That's normal. And the device driver level, the kernel mode is, yeah, actually there's a fair amount going on. So 
The controller is keeping things busy. If you look at the overall CPU utilization, you see around 50%. Uh, this is a 32-bit app, by the way. So let me just show you. Go to process, 32-bit app. Interesting how what it's doing with the different CPUs. Okay, so now we're getting some um, amazing speeds here. Okay, I've resumed the video. We're near the end of this benchmark test. Um, as I mentioned, I've done these benchmarks before. I can use the system for some other things. I really can't see an effect the numbers. We get the same identical results every time I run this thing, really. So. Not too worried about that. Um, okay, so we saved that benchmark. Um, I'll just want to just want to show that uh, we can close all extraneous windows, which are having pretty close to no impact on the um, environment. Um, before I finish that up, let me just show that this is the latest BIOS on the RAID controller. I did take the time to flash it. There you go. Um, one thing uh, also I should be showing is right here, Device Manager, which we already left running. Uh, if we look at the RAID controller, it's actually the one that came with Windows 7, so it hasn't been replaced with a slightly newer adaptic one, or actually considerably newer. I've also tested that before recording this video, and I got the same speed before and after. More important for this video, I really just wanted to compare the RAID 0 with RAID 1 e speed. Okay, so let's just close Windows down as we should do during benchmarks. We don't need this going. Uh, we got nothing running really. Um, browser going now too. Let's look at control panel and just show you there's very little in this operating system. Um, this system is running in HCI mode, so the Intel stuff is not even started for their uh, um, software-based RAID. Um, so yeah, just not much to look at, but the performance tools themselves that I'm running, I didn't even do Windows updates, as you can see he's complaining about here. Okay, so if we do a second run, do we get roughly the same results? Let's uh, grab a screenshot of this. Okay, so we got the screenshot. Great. Let's run it a second time. I'm going to pause the video until it's done. All right, so it's finishing up here. The only thing we left running on that run was um, the snipping tool. You'll see at the top it says benchmark in progress. It's almost done. Let me fix my comments and save this file. Really similar. Um, some variance of about 10, 15% between runs, but it's not like there's an, out, uh, an obvious leader. So um, actually, let's see. Um, so the snipping tool, sorry, is showing the first run, and the second run is right here, as you can see in my caption there. So uh, that's it for that test. Now we want to do it all over again on drive F. So change it to drive F, just to make extra sure I'm doing things right here. See my volumes? There we go. Drive F is indeed the RAID 1E. And it's 2.5 on that one. And it's first run. And here it goes. Now I'll pause the video for this boring part as we wait. So it's finished. You can see it's definitely uh, quite a bit less throughput than the RAID 0 had. Let's take a look at AdaptX own and documentation um, to get some insight there. So
looking here, we see um, there's a RAID 0, and this is a RAID 1E. Um, we'll use the snipping tool. To, uh, actually, let's save it first. Okay, it's been saved. Let's grab with another copy of the snipping tool. And um, that's going to be the before result on the left. And we'll run it a second time and see what we get. Same drive, same everything. I'm going to click Start. I'll resume the video when this second run is done. I'll resume the video. I'm really curious if the CPU utilization is any different with RAID 1E. Shouldn't be. Indeed, it's not. We get a profile of two CPUs pretty darn busy. One CPU seems a little less busy than last time. A little odd. It's RAID controller doing all the... Uh, computation here. Okay, so that's almost done. Let's save it. Use the screenshots perhaps later. All right, snipping tool on the left. This thing on the right. So first run, second run look extremely similar to me. All right, there's a lot of other tools. Uh, we got Crystal, Disk Mark, Performance Test 64-bit, HD TAC. Um, they're time consuming to run. <laughs> Let me just finish up this video with, we'll do a run of a HD TAC. All right, interesting. Look how it's labeling that or enumerating the drives. We'll do the quick benchmark. It's also HD tune uh, to run. So yeah, there's a lot of utilities we can throw at this. But this is this basic overall speed I'm seeing. Uh, you know, you saw uh, I've saved a lot of these files. I've done a lot of these tests. It doesn't seem to matter uh, that much which tool. Com com Comparisons of the two RAID performances are what is noticeable, and also updating the adaptive drive were making no difference. That was also pretty noticeable. Um, all right, there we go. Get another tools look. I uh, forgot to screen grab that, but I can always rewind my own video and take a look. Let's run it a second time. Pause the video. Okay, resume the video. And there's the output the second time. I think I remember it's smoother over here, but um, so look at these speeds here, 478 overall is the number it gives it. Okay, well, um, before I wrap up this video, I'm going to go ahead and just run HDTAC. Turns out it wasn't actually installed in this build. Tune is what I meant to say. Okay, we're on the big array, which we know is the RAID E. Let's see what reads look like. It's the same numbers, 500 or so. Not really going to let it finish. I've done it before, and it just goes across. Let's do that again. And there it is at about half. All right. So hopefully you found this video a worthwhile comparison of RAID 0 versus RAID 1E on an Adaptec 2405Q RAID controller. Thank you for watching.